Welcome back to a new episode here in Suave. In today's episode, I'm going to talk about again about alpha mats or mat transitions because I ran into a weird issue that maybe some of you might have run into if you use alpha mats in DaVinci Resolve. If you follow the tutorial that I did on Monday uh, or downloaded the, when, the freebie Wednesday files on Wednesday and you try to use them on images, sometimes you might encounter this weird issue like let me show you because on mondays i show you on monday i show you how you would go about adding the um the mat transition right so you had it like these and you had the cut portion and then like that and then you would go to the color bar and then we're gonna do the same process we're just gonna add this one as the alpha mat let me close that real quick and when we connect these in theory it should work fine right like if we do that like that and we press play but it's not actually playing and I played around a few things and for some reason it seems that when you add it to an image it doesn't want to um, you mix like sort of like a still image with an actual video moving as the alpha mat so the way to fix this issue is actually really easy and not complicated at all all you gotta do and it fixes it in less than five seconds probably so all you gotta do is you're gonna right click and you're gonna create a new compound clip or press ctrl or q if you want to use shortcuts and then create these and make you can also name it like image one let's say for example and you're gonna double you're gonna with it selected you're gonna go back in again and now you want to find your uh, the mat that you want to use the transition or the video that you want to use as a mat and then we're gonna connect this like this like we did before and then we're gonna add the alpha output and connect it here and you will see that now it works perfectly so yeah so that is pretty much how you go about solving this weird issue that you might encounter if you're trying to work with alpha mats and DaVinci Resolve when applying them onto images so like if you're doing a slideshow or like a, I don't know for like real estate companies you will sometimes want to use these to make the videos a bit more interactive maybe to when you're showcasing something or for like a restaurant menu or whatever you think you might want to use this type of thing like this tea for example stuff uh, for a tea project that I did a, that I was working on so yeah so that is pretty much how you will go about using alpha mats or matte transitions in DaVinci Resolve when using still images in the color tab because sometimes if you don't encounter this issue then lucky you but if you do then this is how you would solve it so I hope that this video was helpful and that is pretty much it for today's video and I hope to see you in the next episode here in Suave.